Hi guys, I'm going to tell, uh, show you now how to um, use a data select command. And you would want to use this command if, say, for instance, uh, like in the assignment, uh, you want to analyze all of the cases except two of them. Or if you wanted to, say, select, uh, say, analyze only males versus females or something like this. So I'm going to show you how to use that data select command. So. Um, let's say uh, in this database, I've got uh, is research on several of UMD and J campuses. All right, and <laughs> Katie just emailed. Thank you, Katie. Um, let's say I wanted to only look at people who are on campus one. What I could do is I would do data, then I would go select cases. All right, then if the condition is satisfied, so I'm not analyzing all cases, but only certain cases, and then I'm going to tell it what cases. All right, in this case, uh, campus, okay, I can do a couple of things. We know that campus is one, two, and three, all right? I can either do campus equals one, and that'll select all of them, or let's say that I wanted to select, um, say, campuses one and two, but I wanted to exclude three. Then what I could do is campus less than three, okay, and that'll select everybody on campus, on um, uh, campuses one or two. Click continue, all right, then click OK, and now just analyze as usual. And let me show you what it looks like over here. You see that in the SPSS um, data view, all right, so some of the cases I'll be, um, you know, uh, marked out. And what that means is SPSS isn't analyzing those cases. And so since I selected campuses one or two, you see those are also um, available. Now I would rerun uh, whatever analysis I wanted. Say I wanted to exclude everybody that whose um, CRP was over 40 or over 35 or whatever it was. Those two cases would be blanked out. Then I could re-create uh, my graphs and um, have everything I need.